Hi, this is Mar Mary from Maryland World Mission Society Church of God. And I just wanted to speak about another experience that I had a chance to have in Korea. Um, when I got to go and travel there, there were so many different aspects of the trip and so many of them were completely invaluable and amazing. But one thing that completely uh, kind of shattered my concept and really warmed my heart was how much love the brothers and sisters had who were there in Korea. For example, when we were there, we had a chance to travel to different Zions around the area. And one time we were driving into one Zion, and as we were driving into Zion, you can just hear the applause and the cheering, and um, so many people that were so excited. And as we pulled in, all the brothers and sisters that were there, they had made these intricate necklaces. Uh, these necklaces had candy that were wrapped with ribbon and these beautiful colors. And you could tell just by looking at them, they must have spent hours and hours to make these. The trip that I went on had some 300 members that went. So I, I can only imagine how long it took the brothers and sisters in that Zion to prepare them. But as soon as we got off the, off the um, bus, they came and they put these, these necklaces over us, almost like they were giving us some kind of award. And uh, I just remember how incredibly happy they were. They were, they were so overjoyed that, that we would come and visit. Because um, in the Bible it speaks about how all nations will come to Jerusalem. So I can, I can only imagine for them, they got to see the Bible come true right in front of them. And um, I, I just, I'm just so grateful to have a chance to be a part of that and to get to know them. Uh, also, when, when we were there, we had a chance to go sightseeing and to see different, uh, different parts of Korea and different parts of the culture. We even got to go to One Kingdom. I remember that day, it was, it was raining. So you might think if you, if you make all the plans to go to a location that's raining, then perhaps your mood might be dampened some. But it was the opposite. All the people that were there, all the brothers and sisters that were there, they were overjoyed. They were so happy no matter what happened. Uh, they continually gave thanks to God and overcame any situation just with the brightest smile on their face. Um, even, even a third example, I, I, this is something that, that stayed with me even though it was several years ago. Uh, one night I was going to my dorm where I was staying uh, and um, at the time, one Korean sister, she stayed there with us and she was so helpful. She made sure that everything was okay and we had everything that we might possibly need. And I had ripped my skirt because I, I tend to uh, damage a lot of things. <laughs> so when I was sleeping, she actually went and, um, and sewed my clothing for me. She actually went and fixed it for me, even though I never asked her to. And I, I remember that morning she had gone to bed after me and she'd woken up before me. She must have been so tired to stay up late and to do something like that for me. But from that experience I realized that is the love of God that is showing through even the members who are there. So not only did we have a chance to meet Heavenly Mother herself and experience her amazing love, but you can just see how her love affects everyone around her. How even the members who have a chance to be there in Korea, in the Jerusalem Temple with her, they are also sort of um, taken over by this love so they can show it as well. So I hope this gives a little bit more insight into what it's like visiting Korea and thank you so much.